Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone. You know what I really love? Is when everyone gets here early and chats in the chat and all is cute and it's nice and I love it. it makes me very happy. Hope you're all doing really well. Yeah, we've got a funky intro today. <laughs> <laughs> I gave someone a fright. Sorry, pumpkin. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, lots of chats. I love it. Everyone's talking about what art supplies they're using today. We've got, what have we got? Um, some brush pen. We've got some Tombos, Neo Color 2s. Love it. Watercolors. Amazing. Who here? Who's, who's here? Who here? It's their first time here at Scribble Brigade. Because a great big welcome to you. Big friendly warm welcome. And to all my regulars, I adore you. Yay! Made it just got the dogs in. <laughs> Funny. Yay! First time for Deb, Pumpkin, Melissa, <laughs> Joka, B. Amazing! Lots of people. Um, well I hope you all like animation because if you've been following me for a while you might know that I have an animation background. I studied animation um, back... when did I do that? It must have been 2013, 14 and 15. I was like in my mid-twenties <laughs> and um, yeah, it was amazing. Studied animation at RMIT in Melbourne here and it was the best. It was so fun. I learned so much. Met so many amazing people. The animation scene, the people in the animation scene are wonderful. Um, the wonderful weirdos, magical in every single way. Um, and then I worked in animation for a few years after I finished uni as a background artist and I did some color theory stuff as well for animation and um, concept art and things. So yeah. Oh hi Kaylee. Thanks Kaylee for the thumbs up request. How do I do thumbs up? There we go. <laughs> um, does that feel like 11 to 12 years ago because uh, yeah i i agree melissa that was a long time ago <laughs> a long time ago um but yeah i worked it as a background artist for years so i am super passionate about animated backgrounds especially classic silver screen gold screen era of animation like between the 40s and the 80s i love love it's all traditionally done usually so it's extra special um, so today I wanted to spend an hour with you all like deconstructing some animated backgrounds but like only in a super scribbly fun nice way um, and I'll talk about uh, foreground middle ground background and how there is nice rhythm and flow and um, how silhouette is really important, having a nice readable silhouette is really important in animation and how that can help you when you're making artworks yourself, um, like illustrations and other, you know, whatever you like to do. So yeah, I hope you can hear me okay. I've tried a different setting on my microphone because I noticed in the last few videos it like sounded a bit yelly. Um, and I've quietened the music a little bit, so let me know if that's all good with you. Yay! Um, B, you've watched some of the recordings and you love them? Oh, thank you! Yeah, I'm racking up quite a few of the ones here on YouTube. Um, and there's like triple the amount more over on Patreon that you can watch. Because I do two Scribble Brigades a month for my patrons and one Scribble Brigade a month for you guys on Patreon and on YouTube. Yeah. Um, uh, pumpkin says, I, I hope you don't mind me calling you pumpkin. There's just too many words otherwise <laughs> for my brain. I love animation, especially classic Disney. Ivan Earl and Mary Blair. The gods. Honestly, love them. Did you know Neo Color 1 can be used under watercolor for some nice texture? I need to try that. I haven't tried Neo Color 1s. The fourth anniversary of 
the who announcing the official panda was just out the other day and that blows my freaking mind <laughs> cool 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 I reckon we should jump right in I'm actually gonna be using my iPad um, for something different uh, I did this last week and it was really fun let me show you what I did last week really quick um, so this is sort of how messy we're going we did five minute drawings last week um, and this is what I'm doing so we did a we did a few um, and I yes yeah, specifically wanted to look at foreground middle ground background kind of stuff um, and some limited color but yeah the main thing is to look at the rhythm and the flow of how each background works so yeah that was really fun we had a really fun sesh last time didn't we um, patrons who were here it was really good and that one so yeah do the same thing today I'm using the brush from Mel Mel Stringer um, the portrait brush yeah and it's nice because you can do nice thin lines like this but you can also do big lines and they get quite fluffy so I really like the texture of those yeah 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 it was a fun session wasn't it how many did we do last time we managed um, it'll be about the same amount probably we did one two three four five six seven I would say around seven more or less yeah okay I reckon we should just jump right into it shall we let's do it I've got my timer up um, we're gonna start with this this background which I will which hasn't come on the screen yet it's from Bambi um, and I chose it because it's a really simple one simple not necessarily that simple but um, yeah let's have a look at it see if it works there we go cute let me zoom in fill the screen for you okay oh Melissa I haven't seen that gonna have to know about that <laughs> Amola, hello. Okay, let's go. I've got five minutes on the clock. Whatever you're working with, have fun. Let loose, be scribbly. We're going to just have a nice scribbly time with it and we're going to be lighthearted and kind to ourselves because we are just warming up. This doesn't have to be a perfect, beautiful artwork. Okay, five minutes. So if you look at the bottom, um, you see this little dark sort of foreground which kind of is a really nice frame for us with some leaves and things and flowers I love the purpose of animated backgrounds is to just lead us into the action which I love so I'm just going to sketch that in And there's like such a clear stage here with our little thumper friend. I haven't um, done this very well proportionately, but that's all right. Such a fun big log. Um, and yeah, I love the way the light glows wherever the character stands. So fun. So I'm working with mainly black and white at this point. Um, and I might chuck some color in later, we'll see. A little character, so cute. <laughs> Who here had childhood trauma from Bambi? <laughs> Great movie, so tragic. Uh, three minutes to go. Um, and the super exciting thing is 
the very very background how it's so wishy-washy it's so beautiful I love it a lot I'm just gonna like block it in with a color it's so easy to want to overcomplicate or over put too much details in um, and you really don't need to do that so pretty Two minutes 18 and chuck some color in just to bring it all to life a little bit Everyone was traumatized by Bambi. It's so beautiful, but it's so sad. One minute twenty. I feel like I want to redraw Thumper's face. <laughs> it looks like a little, I don't know, something. What are those, um, Impossible me, no, impeccable, impeccable me, I don't know. Looks like one of those things. <laughs> we had the VHS, we had all the VHS tapes, but I honestly can't remember any of the stories. What do you mean all? Was there more than one Bambi? They did do a TV series, I'm pretty sure, didn't they, at some point? Oh, a little Bambi. How do you like it in the Australian accent? Bambi. <laughs> the flowers. In the foreground. We're done. Just gonna add a little bit of a vignette around the edge as well. Super squibs. I like these branches. There we go. Nice and loose. It's just our first one, so we can throw it away. Gonna put that there and grab another one here. All the Disney VHS taste. Ah, yes, so did we. We even had like all the really old ones from the 40s and stuff. All the funny little like, um, what are they called? Merry Melodies and stuff like that. They were so fun. Yes. Um, okay, how do we all feel about that? I know it was a bit of a sparse one, a good one to kind of start slow and kind of loosely and figure out, like warm up our bones, warm up our, our brains a little bit. Um, but maybe we should move on to something a little more intricate. How about this one? I think this could be a good one for you. We have... Ah! Oh, Jungle Book! I love the Jungle Book backgrounds. Jungle Book has beautiful backgrounds. Um, are you ready for this one? Let me do my little frame. I, for some reason I like putting them in frames, even though the canvas is a frame <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Mika, you're using Neo Color 2 for the first time and I'm struggling a bit. Just keep pushing, it's so it's so fun um, once you figure it out. It, but yeah, like every medium, it takes a little bit to get used to, but I'm excited to see what you do. We'll have a little bit of a show and tell at some point um, at the end of the stream. And 
if you're comfortable you can share I'll send the discord link when we get closer to the time but yeah let's start this one five minutes there's a lot going on here um, I love I love how the tree like wraps around the frame a little bit like you've got the the big trunk of it over here and then yeah I don't know and then it pushes into the background and it's really fun I wanted to do um, iPad today because well I did it last week and it was really fun but also because it reminds me of when I used to work in animation we did we did it all digitally using Cintiqs so yeah it just feels it just feels fun <laughs> feels like right to be doing animated backgrounds using the iPad for me um, and I've been drawing and painting a lot lately, doing a lot of client work, so my wrist and my hand is a bit sore, so it's been a nice, um, like, it's more easy on my wrists to draw with the iPad, because I can press really lightly, which is nice, because I tend to press quite hard. Love all these vines and stuff hanging down. What's the panther's name? Is it Bagheera? And these soft branches in the background are very fun. If you don't want to draw um, the characters, you don't have to. We're mainly focusing on the backgrounds here. Because they will eat up into your um, time. We've only got 3 minutes 20 to go. And um, what else can I say? Not every detail is needs to be equal. Wherever um, our focal point is, we kind of want to put in a bit more detail, I suppose. I mean, it depends on the style, of course, of everything. Um, but, you know, where we're not meant to be looking like, we're not really meant to be looking in the background there. It's all kind of faded, pushed away. love that purple sky that's very pretty Let's throw some of that in it's like airbrush an airbrush look about it Two minutes and ten seconds. Let's see a bit more blue. I'm gonna make the opacity lower. Yeah. Some little plants. Get a bit more limey. The vines are so gorgeous, aren't they? One of the <laughs> one of the cartoons I worked on when I um, was in the animation industry was like a palm tree esque jungle, and the amount of palm trees. I swore that I would never draw another palm tree again. <laughs> oh, funny. Just really loosely blocking all this stuff in. Nothing fancy. Whoopsies. Didn't want to do that. Okay. I kind of want to get rid of some of these black lines there. Uh, 40 seconds. Quickly get some of this in. branch needs to be a lot darker we're 
nearly done. We're nearly done. Get some green on there. Anyway, that'll. There we go. <laughs> super. I don't know. Super loose. That one. There's a lot of information going on there. I didn't get Bagheera Ian. I hope I'm getting his name right. How good are those colors though? So good. Oh, let's do this one. <clears throat> I think I'm coming down with a little cold. So if I have a coughing attack, please excuse me. <laughs> I get it, French teapot. They're not, I'm not having. Anyway, we're, we're only two drawings in. <clears throat> We're still warming up. Okay. Next one, I'm excited about this one. Um, I'm a big fan of The Last Unicorn. When I was a child, I used to get it from the Blockbuster or whatever the small version of that was here in in, um, in Victoria. Uh, the Last Unicorn out all the time. I used to watch it over and over and over again. I think it came out in the early 80s. Um, magical. Anyway, here's a background from it. Love, very clear foreground with this little hill and the tree, middle ground, which is the grass and the background, which is like the rolling hills in the background. <coughs> Excuse me. Video easy. Yes, video easy. That's the one. <laughs> Let's draw this one, shall we? Five minutes. I think this is so beautiful. I love it. Again, don't have to draw the characters if you don't want to. The Last Unicorn has this m most beautiful, like, medieval um, style. Love it so much. I mean, this background is a little less medieval than a lot of the other backgrounds in the show, in the film. But it's lovely. Such a good movie. So magical. I watched it a few years ago actually for the first time since I was a child and I did cringe quite a lot. It, I don't know, it, it's definitely like the becoming a woman analogy all the time. <laughs> Growing up. feel like. <laughs> it's a cute little flowers everywhere. I'm just gonna loosely chuck them in. I did a full session on the last unicorn, yes, um, back when it was the art hang on Discord. <clears throat> I forced us all <laughs> to do a whole session on the last unicorn and it was my best time ever. <laughs> it's the good thing about um, hosting my own sketch club. I get to choose the themes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever makes me happy and it's so fun. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna chuck some colour in now. How much time do we have left? Two and a half minutes. I will also have the Pinterest link. It's already up there actually on the um, Patreon post, which is public, which everyone can have a look at. So if you jump over to Patreon, you'll be able to see the link to the Pinterest board if you want to have a look 
um, and draw more or just get like a closer look at everything um, you can do that these colors are so nice haven't really had time to get much flower action in. Gotta get some flower action in. Just chuck these colours in real quick. I love how the trees in the background are almost blue. Bluey green. So pretty. One minute. There's obviously like a lot of complexity to the colors in the background there, but I'm just bringing it down to the most basic um, version. It's like a lot of layers and a lot of softness. Um, okay, really got to get some flowers in. Let's chuck that in first. What color are the flowers? Blue. Of like pink ones, red ones. Yeah, can I live here, please? Who wants to move in with me? <laughs> I'm gonna live here on this field. Here we go. Super speedy. <laughs> yeah, I've got the window open. There's lots of birds outside. <laughs> I, I still say that the horse is the hardest thing to draw. <laughs> Ignore the horses, Melissa. <laughs> but they are like, I don't know, I love the derpiness of a, of a good horse drawing. <laughs> um, my patrons might have heard me say this a few times, but when I worked in animation, we would have competitions on who could draw the best derpy horse and bike. And it was really fun because those two things are notoriously known as being the most difficult things for people to draw so it would be a competition to do the best worst version of that thing and it was so funny we laughed so much <laughs> maybe we should have a derby horse award ceremony one day <laughs> you added the unicorn heart <laughs> This gets you red. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay, how are we going? Let's go. In, let's do another one now. I'm just gonna merge those. Start a new one. Get my little frame in. Okay. Ooh, I've got a good one for you. It's a lot of information. So we can be as minimalistic as we want but the backgrounds are supremely beautiful uh, this is uh, our wonderful Mary Blair's work behold <laughs> the mermaid scene in Peter Pan I think of all the classic animations from you know for, uh, when did Peter Pan come out like 50s 40s, 50s, 60s. Peter Pan is my favorite. Um, the Mary Blair is the best. Okay, let's do this. Five minutes. I think I'm gonna try and be quite illustrative. The curves. I have a lot of inspiration from um, Mary Blair. A lot, if you haven't noticed already. <clears throat> The flow, the shape language, she's just a miracle.
I feel like I have to concentrate. <laughs> Get stuff in fairly quickly. Kev's on the rocks, not the mermaids. Yeah, the Kev's of the rocks. You know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, the Kev's of the mermaids, also lovely, but... We're here for these rocks. <laughs> Oh, Melissa, you freaking cutie. <laughs> Being so adorbs all the time. Look at that. So pretty. I don't know what's going on behind the mermaids here. But anyway, something. And the way it all disappears into the water is so nice. And just these framing elements around the edges. These leaves. Yeah, I feel like I've seen you drawing this one, Kaylee. Or at least you've talked about it. So magical, huh? Just chucking in some darks just to bring my eyes and our eyes into the middle. And I'll just go over with a few colours. I'm going to block in and then I'm going to layer. Um, two minutes and ten seconds to go. How luxurious is this five minutes after last month when I made us do five second drawings? <laughs> being very nice today. Some darker layer here. Um, one minute thirteen. This is super dark over here. Forty-eight seconds. Get some of that C in. Such an unusual colour. This is definitely one I want to come back to and <clears throat> play with a little bit. The way the light is coming in through the ocean is so nice. Pick it up. Oh dear, I feel like I barely did anything. There's so much going on. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that was a hard one. That was a really hard one to get into. Because um, there's so much going on, but definitely feel free to go back and add more to it. <laughs> I was prepping myself for the heart racing, adrenaline pumping drawing, so this is much better. I can breathe. 
have to get your keep your hearts on edge sometimes. <laughs> we go for time 10 30 let's do a few more the moss on the pink cliffs yeah that like chartreuse green color so good what shall we do next Ooh, hmm. we could do something a bit different how about the nighttime scene I've got this lovely one from the Fox and the Hound let's do this one what do we think? That's pretty. I love the blurry foreground leaves. I'm actually going to make a new layer and do a blur layer. So pretty. Let's do this one. Five minutes. Oh, you like my selections? That's good. Yes, I like. I spend a bit of time um, coming up with. The screenshots I want us to draw and stuff. Spend my time curating. It's fun. I like um, curating our scribble brigades. Trying to figure out what um, is doable for all levels of skill and stuff. I'm just going to blur this a wee bit. There we go. And underneath. So cute. Another film that broke my heart into a bajillion pieces when I was young. This is one of the films that started my love and like animal activism side. That's for sure. These big pink flowers are lovely here in the front. <clears throat> kind of want to draw my little foxies in here. love how loose um, those trees are and there's a lot of negative space painting with the really back dark background middle ground trees there with the little white um, so nice looks like there's a bird flying in the foreground Good thing about iPad is I can make a perfect circle. <laughs> um, two minutes and fourteen seconds to go. see if I can block in a bunch of color. I'm actually going to Could have done that in a much faster way, but anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Don't you love the way they did um, like water sparkles in old animations like this? I was always so mesmerized by the water sparkles. <laughs> We've only got like six seconds to go. There we go. <laughs> Just chucking in some extra colors. Eee. Okay, I want to make the moon a bit whiter. There we go. Let's add some more sparkles. Quick, quick sparkles. Okay, there we go. There's my quick one. Merge those. Fun. I want to add those bright pink flowers real quick. You won't mind, will you? No, you won't mind. There we go. Let's add a pop of colour. <laughs> Jocelyn, you have to head out for work, but it was fun and challenging with oil pastels. Thanks, Jocelyn. Intrepid Frady Cat, one of my favourite backgrounds is the Bugs Bunny. Um, Martin Martian landscape with the pointy rocket it makes me laugh. I did that one in watercolor pencil. Can't wait to go in with a brush. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. How are we feeling? Should we do something a little bit more simple, I suppose? Less busyness going on as we cool down after our workout. <laughs> we should work on this one which is from the rescuers from down under the rescuers was one of my favorites and I remember watching the watching the rescuers from down down under um, I didn't like it as much but still great love it so there's at um, as rock which is in the center of Australia I think that's what it's meant to represent yeah Let's draw this one. This is a nice, a nice one. Some simple shapes for us. That little hill is very cute. And just that little bit, that little slice of dark trees or hill just behind the little house hill. It's very nice. stylization of this house is very fun. Who's seen this film? This one is perfect for my pre-done paint splodges, your pre-blobinated page with the sky and stuff. It's like a classic Aussie outback shack. Love it. It's like a little like abandoned car in the front there. Cute. We've got some foreground hills here. Love all the little dotty like bushes and brambles dotted around. So cute. Fun swirly clouds. We really do have the best sunsets here.
drawing too fast my bookshelf is like <laughs> can't handle so many lovely colors to make up this ground Um, one minute twenty. Bit more redness to it. There we go. The sky. Time for some sky. When you go out back Australia, the contrast of the land and the sky is so nice. It's very good. Yeah, pigeons, palomas in the background. <laughs> Funny how loud you can hear them. Big happy pigeons. There we go. And that is that. <laughs> I singing to the music. There's my little scribble. Fun colors. Let's group them up. It's amazing what my microphone picks up. <laughs> you probably hear my scribbling really loudly as well. <laughs> Misha, hello. How are you? The sequels to the sequel to the movie. The Rescuers or The Rescuers from Down Under? Which one came first? I feel like The Rescuers would have come first, right? You always wanted a kookaburra. Kookaburras are pretty gorgeous. Now, what can I give you next? I mean, a lot of these backgrounds, I've got so many here in this little folder. I'm going to be doing the rest of them next week um, in the last Scribble Brigade of the month. So I do them three times a month. The first Wednesday of the month is a patron only one, which, uh, yeah, for patrons. And the second Wednesday of every month is like this, a public one for YouTube. And then the third Wednesday of every month is another patron only one which is um, done in my evening so it's my morning now it's 10 a.m. 10:50 a.m. Um, so the third Wednesday is done at my 6 p.m. which means that sometimes uh, hopefully a lot of uh, my European British pals can join us um, but yeah there we go how about this one who watched the brave little um, toaster when they were young. I loved the Brave Little Toaster. It was it was scary and amazing and my brothers and I used to watch it all the time. Let's do a Brave Little Toaster one. You like the sound of the iPad sketching? Yeah, it's kind of like soft and breathy. B, nice to have you here. <laughs> Jamie, you want portrait orientation? You can do it. You can change the cropping if you like. You can do whatever you like. 
memory unlocked the brave little toaster yes it was so good you have the DVD of it oh I haven't watched it since I was probably in my teens and um, yeah it was it was great uh, anyway the backgrounds are, are interesting they're very like dreamlike they're very like I don't know like squishy almost anyway have a look at this this is a, a background that I chose from the brave little toaster um, great movie <laughs> great movie I loved it the sounds I love the sounds of the movie um, yeah let's draw this one let's see how we go <laughs> I feel like I need to make my square a little more square okay you've seen it yes so good all right let's do it five minutes it's an interesting one Yeah, I think um, I last, I watched a couple of clips of it a few years ago and I remember being like cringed by the technical, the technicality of the animation. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you're little you don't notice those things. But yeah, it's a classic, it was a classic in our house. Our VHS always like it got destroyed at some point or like had some scratches or something so during the scene at the car smashing place it would always die <laughs> so we were like ah never really knew what happened and when your kids you're just like okay well there we go <laughs> we'll never know Yeah, the movement in this background is great. The squishiness. It's like redwoods, I assume. These trees. These swooping shadows are so fun. The VCR that eats tape. Talk about tra <laughs> that's the traumatizing part of this movie. <laughs> the, the, v the that the VCR ruined everything. <laughs> yeah a copy of the little mermaid all the songs are like warped so now whenever I in my mind recall the songs or when I sing them to myself <laughs> automatically I have the VCR warp <laughs> in my head <laughs> so silly I think this will be our last drawing and then we can do a bit of a show and tell.
only got 15 seconds. Quickly, Sophie, quickly. Isn't that it? Blue. <laughs> More yellow. There we go. Fun! Melissa, you just finished the sketchbook. That's amazing. I used to sing like that to my nieces when they were young. Haha, <laughs> it was so much fun to warble my voice like that. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to send you a little. So my um, Discord is usually for my patrons. But I love to share with everyone. So I'm going to put the um, timer for the link for only half an hour. So if you want to join the Discord and you're alive in the chat now, feel free. Um, there is a section, a little channel at the bottom called the Scribble Brigade TSB Share Place. If you're feeling comfy, if you're feeling... Um, like you'd like to have a bit of a show and tell, post your work there and we'll have a little, a little gush and a little cheerlead um, as we look at each other's artworks um, from today. So yeah, feel free. I see that Melissa has already gone ahead and done it, which is amazing. But while people are sharing their Scribble Brigade drawings of today, let me show you. I'm going to do a little time lapse. Try your best when you're uploading your images to not look at everyone else's yet because I want to we'll do it all together and it's going to be extra fun. But anyway, let's have a look at the video because that is, I love, I love looking at the videos. <laughs> so fun, right? So that was the first one, just leaning into it, just getting warmed up. I had a lot of fun with the tree and like the volume of the tree with this one. That was good. So fast. Like that one. That was the last unicorn. <laughs> oh, the fox in the house. So romantic. <laughs> it's fun seeing it all come together, isn't it? You're ignoring your first two, but the rest are good to go. <laughs> and the last one. Very stylized, that one. The Brave Little Toaster. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna merge that down. Which is my favorite. I think I like the unicorn one. I like the colors. That one's fun too. The yeah, rescuers from down under is a good one. Yeah. Yay! Okay, let's dive in and I'm gonna move my iPad out of the way a little bit. And let's go through everyone's stuff. Now we've got quite a lot, so I'm not gonna spend as much time as I usually spend on looking at all of them, but we will look at every single one of them. Here we go, let's we'll start here. Um the link to the so in the Patreon post that I did, it's a public post, so you'll be able to go into my Patreon and have a look. There'll be a link to the Pinterest board there. Um, but yeah, the Discord link is just a couple of comments above if you meant that too. But yeah. Oh, look at my cute little sunflowers in the background. They look nice. It was my birthday the other day and I got sunflowers for my birthday. I always love receiving flowers. It's my, my favorite thing. Okay. Melissa. So Melissa is pre-blubbinated with some fun highlighter pink. I love that. The brush pen. Look at a little thumb paw. So cute. I love how you always draw the little logo. Makes me happy. Oh, beautiful. Love it. The brush pen is so nice. 
I love this. This looks great. And the unicorn is absolutely derpy. I love it so much. <laughs> but yeah, these foreground trees are so lovely on the hill. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. I like how abstract it looks. Yeah, super expressive, huh? Gorgeous. What is this type of sketchbook, Melissa? We don't... I haven't been able to find them in Australia. I mean, I haven't looked fully, but um, they look nice to draw in. Yeah, the composition. Oh, that's cute. Look at the cute little house and the cute little Ezrock. I should say Uluru. I mean, I keep meaning to say Uluru. Grew up calling it Uluru and then in school, they were like, Ezrock. Now, now I need to remember to call it Uluru. Talent art creation. You'll send me one? Really? I, I, I will have a look. I'll see if I can find them anywhere. I'm sure they'll be somewhere. Beautiful though. Oh, nice. Nice work, Melissa. I love them. Oh, Jocelyn. Oh, beautiful. Look at all those scribbles. That looks so fun. I love these colors. Oh, that was my knee cracking. <laughs> Struggled with the kids' oil pastels but had lots of fun. The Jungle Book one is my fave. Yeah, it's beautiful. And this is that one. Oh yeah, I just, look, it's nice. You kind of blow your eyes and just look at the colors and the composition. It's a nice way to do it with the pastels. Oh, good colors. Fun. Well, this one's pretty. I like all the flowers. Like, it's like a little patchwork quilt. <laughs> Beautiful, Jocelyn, thank you. French teapot. Oh, lovely. I love the different, I don't know, like mediums, textures, line works in the um, Peter Pan one. The unicorn one's very soft and lovely. Beautiful. Oh, the negative space in the Rescuers from Down Under. Beautiful. That waterfall, magical. I love them. Beautiful. Beautiful as always. Mr. Slug. Great. Love. I love just the just the black marker. Perfect. That is a perfect log entrance. <laughs> These are lovely. So expressive and speedy and perfect. Oh, I love the little house on the last one there. Cute. The rescuers. Everyone's loving. I love the comments section going off. Giving all the love. I love being each other's cheerleaders. So fun. And your partner did some too. Ooh, pretty. Are they, um, what markers are those? Those look fun. Solid. Oh, the panther, he's so cute. Nice work. Thanks, guys. Mace. Oh, lovely. Did you pre blobinate your pages as well with like pinky purple? Yeah, go, team, go. <laughs> Look at little Thumper, cutie pie. Nice. I love, I bet your sketchbook makes the best sound, like so textural. Oh, cute. They look so good. I like the color palette there. Beautiful. Love. Parker. That's this way. The little thumper, cute. Nice watercolor set. I've got one of those. They're good. Oh, this is fun. I like the dark line work and then the soft pencil drawings on the inside. It's a really interesting combination. It's fun to look at. Mmm, pretty. Wow. Like getting in the watercolors and the pencil. It's a lot to do in five minutes. <laughs> Here's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Oh, gorgeous. You've got ink? Um, 
just lovely. I love your line work and the ink. It's just, it, it's giving me like New Yorker illustration or like magazine illustration, the way they use like loose ink and then like inky line work. I don't know what about it, but it's, it feels romantic. It's nice. Gorgeous. They're really satisfying. Beautiful work. Taryn. Oh, these are fun. I like these, like abstract almost. Cute. I like actually the rescuers down under, how you left that space in the middle. It's really interesting. I like it. Cool choice. Miss Kim. Hi, Kim. I was late, but here is my effort. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, I love the like chalky texture of those bottom two. Beautiful. Fun layers. Oh, it's nice to have you here. They look great. Squash the old man. <laughs> oh, pretty. These are uh, like a chalk pastel. Fun. The mermaid one with the swoopy whoopy um, cliff edges. That's really satisfying. Nice one. Nike Neo Color 2s and 1s still warming up to each. Uh, they're still warming up to each other. There's the occasional blue tombow, tombow because I don't have light blue yet. Oh, nice. Ooh, I like the swooshy action of the first one there. Lovely. Oh, the unicorn one. Pretty. Again, the flowers in the quilted hill. Just so cute. Pretty. The tree in the house. So cute. Nice. Beautiful, everyone. <laughs> Lots of love in the comments. I love that. Uh, Fonty Johns. <laughs> oh, great energy. Good scribble factor. I love to see how other people like do their automatic scribbling, like what actions they take when they scribble. Because everyone does it slightly differently. Lovely. Lovely. Lo oh, you had one square to go. Lovely, lovely. You'll have to go onto the Pinterest board and just do another one <laughs> to fill it up. Oh, this one's cute. Lavender Ivy. Lavender Riv. That's pretty. Are you using pastel as well? Love how small that sketchbook is. That's super cute. I agree, Melissa. The light cobalt blue is the best color. <laughs> Little Miss Joyness. Always bringing the joyness in the Scribble Brigade. I love it. Great colors, great layering. Cute. So tiny, such a tiny sketchbook. <laughs> I want to have a chump, like little biscuits. You know those biscuits that have pictures on them sometimes, like really special ones? This reminds me of them. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cute. The one with Uluru. Love it. Yeah, the little frames. That's pretty. Nice layering. Gorgeous, as always. <laughs> Courtney Misfit. Oh, that's so nice. Love the paint texture. Really love the paint texture. So lovely. Oh, thank you. Wendy. Oh, that's a cute one. Look at the little thumb bunnies. <laughs> that got me in the heart. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, I love the color of the tree branches and the blue. Pretty. Oh, there's our unicorn. Nice. Cute. The little foxies there. 
<laughs> the big pink flower. <laughs> nice. I love how everyone's drawn the little tree in the little house on that one. Cute. Oh, that suits your style, that one. Nice. Thanks, Wendy. Fist fight cupcake. You went digital as well. Oh, look at that. Ooh, good texture. Good zoomies. <laughs> Oh, nice. Just read the comments. Cute. Oh, the texture's so good. The brush is lovely. It's like a chalky brush. Nice. My internet's going a bit slow. Oh, cute. Good colours. Like, good, like, just a study in blocking in colours. Nice. Ooh, fun. Change your brush. Love it. It's very inky. So good. Oh, pretty. Oh, you did the blur thing too. Like, it looks good, doesn't it? It gives a different depth of dimension. Oh, that looks great. Love it. Such a classic animation look. The way the clouds spin around. I remember doing that a lot in the animation we were working on. The show I was working on. Cute. So good. Beautiful work. Another one from Lavender. Pretty. A little unicorn. And the little wizard walking beside her. <laughs> Cute. Jamie. Oh, pretty. So soft and lovely. You managed to get some like pen work in as well for the details. Gorgeous. Oh, the little foxes are so cute. The house and the tree. Lovely. That brush pen looks lovely. Those, the ones that I usually get are like really thick and chunky and I hate them, but this looks like a really nice water filled brush pen. <laughs> Is that better? Can you hear me with less crackles now? <laughs> the microphone hit its limit. It always does this at some point. I think it's when I get a message come through, but I don't know how to stop it. Perfect. Good. Beautiful Jamie. Melissa. That's a very satisfying spread. Like the long sketchbook looks so good. And yeah, capturing just like a vignette of each background is a nice way to um, go about it as well. Pretty nice work, everyone. We've got a couple more coming through. Janice, look at these textures. Ooh, thank you for sharing Janice. This is gorgeous love this stuff i love super expressive mark making like this this is so fun little thump arena cute gorgeous this is so fun and some um, pastel as well delish yes yes love it oh so pretty I could look at that texture all day. I want to eat it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, thank you. Wow, look how much stuff we did. And last week we did a bunch of really good ones too. Look at all these last week ones. So fun. Yay. Ah, oh, thank you all for showing up and being here and showing your work and looking all cute and doing nice things in the chat and stuff oh i see one just popped up from sketchy rev let's have a look here beautiful so delicate um yeah i really appreciate you guys for being here and showing up and having a scribble with me and having a play and being open to trying something new and something really fast um i would love to look at more of your sketchbook pages after um after the live stream i'll keep 
looking in and saying hi and stuff so yeah keep keep um keep sharing if you uh if you are late or if you're watching this back share some more oh i have to I have to look at this one really quick <laughs> tyler <laughs> amazing look at those colors uh, that is that is the zing of color gorgeous using oil pastels i assume amazing work amazing work okay i love you all um and if you can like do a little comment on my youtube video that would be great and um yeah think about subscribing to my patreon it's a really nice and cozy place over there i do art prompt days i do scribble brigades um i do monthly videos uh, art shares everything all that kind of stuff um, I have a really good time over on Patreon. Yeah. Um, thanks for supporting me. Even just by being here and watching this um, and joining in. If you want to share on Instagram as well, tag me so I can repost it. I've also got a little Scribble Brigade GIF. So if you type in Scribble Brigade in the GIF, you'll find the little GIF. And it's a cute little sticker to add to your little story. Um, yeah. And thanks for sharing. Thanks for being brave enough to share to us all um and we love you all i love you guys thanks for the support i'm gonna go now i will see you patrons i'll see you next week and um yeah bye have a good day